Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, my my um, speech is going to be about God's creations. So in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Um, I want you all to think of this. God has given us a beautiful world to live on while we are here, mashallah. He could have put us anywhere to live and not made it beautiful or entertaining at all. He could have just made it good enough to just to live on. Like to, but God has given us an amazing, extraordinary planet to live on while we are here. Praise God. Um, thirteen sixteen. Say, who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth? Say, God. Say, why do I, why then do you set up idols besides? Well, I mean, set up beside him masters who do not possess any power to benefit or harm the, even themselves. Say, is the blind the same as the seer? Is the darkness the same as the light? Have they found idols besides God, who created creations similar to his creations to the point of, the, of not distinguishing the two creations? Say, God is the creator of all things, and he is the one who the supreme. Let me tell you something. Nobody can create anything like God can. In fact, nobody can create anything at all, period. God creates everything. Um, yeah, God created the heavens and the earth and the seven universes and all the planets, the animals. God even created the human being so much more. There is nothing God hasn't and can't create. He is the Almighty, most wise. Him alone we worship, Him alone we ask for help. Anyone who thinks that they can create what God can create and be like Him will suffer a severe retribution. Appendix 38-19 The Creator's Signature The scriptures are the only mathematically composed creations of God where the number 19 is the common denominator. It is profound indeed that Gal Gal uh, Galileo made his famous statement, that mathematics is the language with which God had created the universe. A plethora, a plethora of scientific findings have now shown that the number 19 represents God's signature upon certain creations. This divine stamp appears throughout the universe in such the same manner as the signature of Michelangelo and uh, Picasso to identify their works. For example, number one, the sun, the moon, and the earth become aligned in the same relative positions once every 19 years. See Encyclopedia Judis Judicia, I don't know, um, uh, under calendar. Number two, Halley's Comet, a profound heavenly phenomenon, visits our solar system every 76 years. 19 times 4. Uh, number 3. God's stamp on you and me is manifested in the fact that the human body contains 209 bones. 19 times 11. Lineman's medical embryology um, by T.W. Sadler is used as a textbook in most of the Michael's, I mean medical schools in the <laughs> USA. The, on page 88 of the fifth edition, we read the following statement. In general, the length of a pregnancy for a full-term fetus is considered to be 280 days or 40 weeks. More accurately, 266 days or 38 weeks after fertilization. The numbers 266 and 38 are both multiples of 19. Now let's talk about some of God's creations. Believe it or not, there are about 950,000 species of insects. No one knows for sure how many species of animals exist on Earth. In fact, some 10,000 species of animals are discovered each year, with over one and a half million species already described. Ants are one of the insects of God's creations, and this insect is incredible. Did you know in certain ant species, the soldier ants, have modified heads shaped to match the nest entrance. They'd block access to the nest by sitting just inside the entrance with their heads facing out like a cork in a bottle. When a, co when a worker ant returns to the nest, it will touch the soldier's head, I mean soldier ant's head, to let the guard know that it belongs to the colony. And plant, ant plants are or myrmecophytes, it's a type of plant. Are plants that are plants with naturally 
occur in hollows where ants can take shelter or feed. These cavities may be hollow thorns, stems, or even leaf petioles. The ants live in the hollows, feeding on sugary plants, secretions, or the ex excretions of sap sucking insects. What do the plants get for providing such luxurious accommodations? The ants defend the plant from herbivores and mammals and insects, and may even prune away parasitic plants that attempt to grow on the host plant. Um, the, the gorilla, is, there's a gorilla, another one of God's creations. The gorilla is another one of God's amazing creations. Gorillas are highly intelligent. They use tools and have various methods of communication, including 25 different sounds. One famous captive born uh, individual Coco has been taught sign language since she was born. I mean, since she was a year old. By the age of 40, she had a, a library of about 1,000 signs and could understand some 2,000 words of English. Um, spent, spend most of their, they spend most of their day foraging, foraging or, um, for bamboo, fruit, or, and leafy plants. Though western lowlands also eat small insects. Adult gorillas can eat up to 66 pounds of food each day. Gorillas have unique nose prints, much like human fingerprints, which can be used to identify individuals. A silverback gorilla weighs about 350 pounds and can lift 10 times its weight. Imagine that. That's like, three, that's like 3,500 pounds, praise God. God be glorified. There are so many beautiful, amazing creations out there that God has created, mashallah. Some you can even keep as pets, mashallah. God's power is amazing. He is the most powerful, the almighty, the most wise. Nobody can ever equal him. All praise be to God, Lord of the universe, the supporter, the granter. Lastly, a reminder that God will grant you whatever you wish in this life. He will make you kings and queens as long as you worship him alone and follow his commandments. MashaAllah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>